Triple H has been dealt with for what he did at Armageddon. Now the only thing we need to worry about is the winner of the Royal Rumble, and that's Brock Lesnar. But before we get that far, let's just focus on the sorry son of a bitch known as Kane. Yeah, I didn't forget about this guy. He interfered in the match against Triple H. And of course, Ric Flair is still here for reasons I just can't get around. Yeah, 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 you beat Vince McMahon, a guy who's not notorious for being a wrestler. How are they still 50-50 partners? Hold on, hold on, no, no damn way. Jericho's team won that Survivor Series match so that Vince owned the whole damn thing. What happened? That was the stipulation, right? I know damn well it was. What the hell is this? The WWE is gonna die. It has a fatal disease. Be then get rid of the damn guy. What did Team SmackDown fight for if not to put Flair out on the street? <laughs> like what the heck was that for? No, it, uh, I, I feel like I feel like everything that I've done so far with Jericho in this whole season is just for nothing. I mean, yeah, he's the undisputed champion, but like a big part of what would bring me joy is if Ric Flair's ass was dumped out of this company so we don't have to deal with him anymore. Of course, why Why did I even bother? Why? If it's, if it's not Ric Flair... If it's not Vince McMahon, it's the damn locker room. Nothing ever goes my way. Well, except for beating these guys' asses in these matches. Speaking of which, let's get this show started so that can happen. Kane is going to be on the menu tonight. Uh, and and that I, I mean to, to fight him and that's all. Why am I making it sound all weird? There's nothing else you can do to him. He's Kane, for God's sake. Let, let's just move on. And what do we have here? The W... Okay, we'll prove it by getting rid of Flair, man. I'm sorry. So, Flair is threatening his leadership and his idea of remedying that whole situation is to destroy his company. Not fire the guy or anything. Just destroy your company. Vince McMahon isn't really known for being rational now, is he? Huh. I guess I should have expected that. Alright, let me stop worrying about that whole thing. It's gonna be hard to do, but I, I need to. I gotta focus on this match. Y2J releases the big red machine from the walls of Jericho. Kane goes on offense with a reversal. He has the clear advantage with those powerful strikes, but the champ takes back momentum after a reversal of his own. Kane is more than likely wanting to fight Jericho because the champ chose to fight Triple H at the pay-per-view. You know what? Since Kane interfered in that match, let's use this one as a way to punish the Big Red failure for his meddling. Both men head outside to get the plunder. This is gonna get nasty real quick. Uh, well, I thought, I thought Jericho actually hit Kane there, but clearly he didn't. Kane hit him with the table, and now Y2J is struggling. Kane goes down with a forearm. I didn't know that this was no DQ, but uh, it is. Jericho is on the... T oh my god. Okay. Alright. Good job, big man. I thought for sure he was going through it. Kane with a double choke slam. There you go. That That's tough. What, he, he fell from like 18 feet in the air. Or eight. <laughs> Depending on who the commentator is for that night. Jericho with a chair. Come on, man. Do something. Do something more. Well, I guess that's all. That's all for the chair. Kane with a pose. What the hell was that? Whatever it was, Jericho's got a finisher. So I think that's good. <laughs> Kane gets tripped up. Jericho doesn't go for the finish? What? 
a reversal into another reversal well uh i don't know what happened there except jericho got clocked in the face but all right fine the sleeper slammed to the big red machine, and Jericho goes for the lion saw. So far, no one has kicked out of this move. And that ain't changing anytime soon. I was hoping to really wear him out with some weapons, but maybe a few chair shots was just good enough. Now hopefully, like Undertaker, we'll never have to see that guy again. Although, knowing my luck, that's not gonna happen. There's the winner of the Royal Rumble, guys. It's Brock Lesnar. I'm dying to know what you gotta say. This guy is well-renowned for his excellent promo skills, right? Thanks for telling us something we already know. Except for that one. That, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen at all. Nobody's taking that title from Y2J. And back to Vince. He's going to inject WWE with a lethal poison. The N-W-O. Oh my god. Vince McMahon is going to kill his company with the very thing that killed WCW. <laughs> oh my god. You bastard. You bastard. I can't believe you. How could you do this? The very livelihood of all the talent under your banner. You're going to kill them with the NWO. I cannot. And unfortunately for us now, Chris Jericho has to take on Triple H. A man he already beat at the Royal Rumble. Oh my god, it's Hulk Hogan. Already? They're here now? And who the heck? Sean Waltman. Kevin Nash. Where, where's the other 15 guys? Remember, I'm finally back, brother. That's all you came out to say? No grand entrance? Really? From Hogan? I'm shocked. It looks like there's somebody to the left. Oh, it's Tori. Hey, what's up? I could sound less creepy. I really could. <laughs> I'm good. And you? Gotta ask her about how she's doing, you know? Gotta be nice. Yeah. Let's do that. Accompany Jericho to a match. Maybe uh, we can make this a full time. What in the hell? That started way quicker than I thought it would. All right. Well, Tori's out here in this match with Jericho versus Hollywood Hogan. I don't know how he agreed to this, brother, but he, he did. And Jericho's going to get the opportunity to push his face in with those boots. Nice. Chris Jericho is staying very speedy in this one. I guess he realizes that Hogan being 300 pounds, well, he's got the power and Jericho has got the speed. Hogan coming back with a different kind of clothesline. But Jericho with a kick to the gut. Followed by the devil underhook, backbreaker. Jericho lifts him up, but Hogan with a reversal. Y2J trades and gives him a drop kick to the back and a boot to the back of the head. Hulk Hogan doing a reversal that he's never done in his entire life. Hogan is not giving up with the reversals. These guys go back and forth until the bulldog takes down the big man. Jericho plants him with a moonsault, but both guys are back up until Hogan takes him back down. It's nice to see that this is a poison that's being injected into the WWE because if you realize by now, no one beats Jericho. Doesn't matter what poison you think you got, he's the antidote. Jericho with those angry stomps and the arm drag. Followed by a snap suplex. The big man is struggling. A throw into the ropes. And oh my god, Hogan with the Thez press to Chris Jericho. I don't think I've ever seen him do that move. Can you imagine that giant man throwing all his weight at you? Oh my god, it's not in the ropes. Referee, count to three. He can't even do that. Can you do anything right? 
three, one, two, three. That's all you had to do. Then my dreams would have come true. Another backbreaker taking Hogan down, but Jericho is not content with just that one. He wanted to get another one in. Here we go, a double power bomb for Hulk Hogan. Now stay down. One, two, three. Yep, that'll do it. Oh what, you were expecting to see a finish move of some kind in a dark match? Come on. We don't give that move out for free. I don't even know if that's, I don't even know if that would have been for free, but shut up. <laughs> All right, let's start the show. Bradshaw versus Devon in a TLC match. Bradshaw kicked his ass. Oh what? Did the did the prophet Vince McMahon not help you out? Come on. The glorious benefactor doesn't lend you any help in vanquishing the sinful Bradshaw. The bell sounds and the champ immediately clocks the game in the face with a running forearm. Y2J starts this match off hot. Probably to show Triple H that what happened at the Royal Rumble was not a coincidence. Y2J takes him down to the mat and looks to make a cover in the ropes. You know that's how he does it. Only make those covers in the ropes. Triple H with a... Um... Uh, what is that? No! Look, man. This, this See, look. Stop doing the eye rate. I can't. I, I want to slap the shit out of you when you do that move. Like I, my hand just like it starts. It starts getting warm. Every time you do that move, I just want to. All right, let me move on. Uh, arm drag followed by another arm drag. No eye rakes. Good. Good. I swear I would disown you in a heartbeat. You do an eye rake one more time. To the top. A nice moon soul. Ref. Count to three, man. You know. Oh, come on, Earl. Another arm drag takes down the game. Mother All right, Jericho, you're on thin ice, buddy. Thin ice. Do it one more time and I will stop this whole damn thing. A dragon sleeper in the middle of the ring. That put out Austin that one time. But not this time. Triple H with a double A spine buster. And he picks up Jericho. A nice swinging neck breaker from the champ. And Triple H is not just going to lie down and take it. I wouldn't expect them to, but... Oh, the breakdown, I think. I still haven't really confirmed that one. It was a, it was a passing glance that I that I got that uh, information. Anyways, I'll call it the stroke. The stroke, and then all the backbreakers and punches to the face that missed. Jericho with a double underhook backbreaker. And he has a finisher. What could it mean? Oh, you're going to roll him up in the ropes? Good job, that's how we do it. Only pin your man in the ropes. That's what you have to learn from this entire season. And Jericho with a lion tamer again, I think. I forgot. Did he did he put him in the lion tamer at the pay-per-view? Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't matter because the game taps out. Now this guy should sufficiently be behind us now. Like, he should never come up again, right? Well, hopefully with Hogan looming and the NWO looming on the side, we probably won't have to worry about him. Speaking of the NWO, they're ambushing the champion. Oh my God. What did he hit him with? Is that a bat? A two by four? A small two by four? Let's call it a bat because that looks too small. No, it's a sledgehammer. He stole Triple H's weapon. It makes sense because Y2J incapacitated the game and then these thugs came on and these old ass thugs came in here stealing his weapon and now it looks like they're gonna spray paint the back of the champion. Oh man, I can't believe it. This is their first night on the show. There he goes, immortalizing the insignia of the NWO on Jericho's back. Oh, there it is. The shame. You got King over here saying it's the beginning of a war. This ain't gonna be no war. The only thing that's gonna happen is Hogan and his NWO buddies are gonna get their ass beat and Y2J is gonna remain undisputed champion all the way through WrestleMania. That's all you got to know. 
Now we head into the third week of February and hope to get some revenge on these ass clowns. And we're not even booked? Come on, man. You gotta book the champion. Maybe there's a storyline reason for it. Let's see what happens. Maybe they're trying to say that that beating that Jericho took was too much for him to come back from. Oh, shoot. We got Stacy back here with uh, a box? A present? No, what's today? It's February. <gasps> it's Valentine's Day. Hey. Jericho gets a Valentine present from Stacy? I told you they do managers real different in these games. <laughs> oh yeah, Jericho's in the middle of the ring. He's got something on his mind, again, like usual, but he never actually says anything. In fact, the commentators just talk the whole time, and then this happens. Here we go again, the damn NWO. What is Jericho thinking? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe Jericho's thinking about uh, Hogan. He's the ringleader, right? Cut the head off the snake. The rest of it stopped moving, I think. I like how these guys just seem to portray themselves as big and bad, but like, it's three on one. Of course you're going to win. Does Jericho look like Bruce Lee to you? Finally, backstage. Nobody to the left or the right, so let this show begin. Billy and Chuck beating Lance? Oh, God. What world do we live in where that happens? Chris Jericho takes on Kevin Nash. For some reason, I'm pretty sure I specified that I wanted to fight Hogan, but we get the giant dude for some reason. No offense to the giant dude, but he's not exactly the most important member of the group, nor was he ever. I like the guy and all, but Y2J wants the head of the organization, brother. Not the second in command. Jericho taking the early lead over the seven feet tall guy who just stood there for no reason. But Jericho takes him down with the trifecta of arm drags, followed by a boot to the gut and a slap to the head. This guy is amazing, and that's why he is the Undisputed Champion. Here we go. Double underhook backbreaker. You gotta break this guy in a little gently. Never mind. Fuck the gentle shit. Nope. With a big boot to the face, you deserve to get all the bad things coming to you. He's in the rope. He's in the rope, right? He's not. What? I'm so... Ooh. <laughs> he hit the ref. Oh, you can't do that. Ooh. <laughs> Nash, did, did Nash ever hit a neck breaker? What? Well, if he didn't, it looked pretty good there. Well, for the first time, Kevin Nash is just beating the hell out of Chris Jericho. Oh my God. That's a nice one. What's that, a sloop, a sloop-lex? Yeah, that's what they call it, a sloop-lex. <laughs> a suplex slam or some shit? That's, I don't know, it looks cool. Kevin Nash is just, re he's not giving up. Look at that. He's got a backbreaker too. Uh-uh, hold on. Jericho is the king of those. You're trying, to, you're trying to compete for that crown, huh? Is that what's happening? I mean, you could try, but you ain't going to win. Look at it. This would be a good time. Hey, see? See what I mean? Another backbreaker. He's the king. Yeah, this would be a good time to go to the top. He's in the ropes. He's not in the ropes. Count to three, man. He does. Jericho pin Kevin Nash with a moonsault from the top rope. Wow, that was um, pretty easy. From all the talk of Kevin Nash, you would have figured that would have been a tough guy to get through, but apparently not. I got a bad feeling now for some reason. Oh, hell. Here comes these goons. What a bunch of cowards. What happened? Oh, so y'all just cut to the ass whooping? Y'all don't even show it? And that's all we get? All right. What? I remember this angle. Oh, Jericho's in the back of the ambulance being rushed to the hospital. They really messed him up that bad. Wait, how the hell are we hearing their music? 
<laughs> is somebody is somebody got a boombox back in this day? They sit down on the side of the road. This is for life. Yeah. Well, there's these two guys. The ambulance has stopped. Oh my God. Hogan is in a truck. Oh no. I'm going, I'm going to lay the smack. What the heck? When did he ever talk like that? This is awesome. Oh my God, Jericho. No, he got rammed into by that truck. Oh my God. Is the undisputed champion okay? Will he ever be the same again? Like, that's, what is that? That's attempted murder? You can't do that. Where's the police? Help. And now we just go into the fourth week like nothing ever happened. All right. Yeah, of course Jericho's not on the show. The man just got mowed down by a damn Mack truck. Come on. All right, we're in the SmackDown arena. We need it. He's back. He's here. He doesn't look like he has a scratch on him. I shouldn't be surprised. He's the damn champion, man. What's up, guys? You coming back out again to show your ass? I mean, you can't get the job done, so why should I even care? All right, let me answer this. Um, How about we take on Hogan in a singles match? Put him down once and for all. In case you didn't notice, Undisputed Champion doesn't back down from shit. Hogan's here. What's he got to say now, brother? The ro oh, he's talking about Brock Lesnar. What? Is It sounds like he's challenging Brock for his number one contender spot at No Way Out. Oh, buddy. That's going to be interesting. So Brock Lesnar could end up losing his ticket to WrestleMania. Oh. That means that Jericho will get to have his hands all over Hogan. Oh yeah, here we go. No way out is the pay-per-view. This is it. Wait. That X-Pac. Like that realization just hit me in that moment. If he's going to be facing Brock, who the hell's the guy that Jericho's facing and it's X-Pac? Ugh. How could you do this to me? My heart. It feels like I got shot in the heart. How could you do this? I thought he was going to be wrestling Hogan. Well, whatever. Nobody's going to be around during the uh, pay-per-view. They never are. So let's get this show started and take on X-Pac for no damn reason. What's that guy ever done to get in the ring with the Undisputed Champion? Oh, what? Hogan beat Brock Lesnar. Hogan is the new number one contender at WrestleMania. Well, sorry about that, Brock. We uh, we got a new toy. You know, this this poison came in, and he's just gonna erase your plans right quick. Here we go. Hollywood Hogan has become the number one contender, brother. Oh my God! I thought that said Will He Taco. It said Will He Face. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> well, of course. And now the match begins, and Sean Waltman hitting the Undertaker's clothesline. That's awesome. Y2J answering back with those arm drags. Oh, you son of a bitch. I swear, I would end this video now, but this is the last one. This is the last match, and I can't do that. He's trying my patience. You know what? I'm about to turn on Jericho. This son of a bitch hitting those damn eye rakes. I don't care what happens to you anymore. X-Pac beat his ass. You know what? I'm joining the NWO now. Where's my shirt? <laughs> for life, baby. For life. <laughs> All right. No, let me stop. Let me stop. Jericho is he's the guy. Just no more Irex, jackass. Here we go. Double underhook backbreaker to X-Pac. He's getting put away very quickly. A low blow leads to a sleeper slam. Go to the top. No. You're going to do it this time? No, nope, just a dropkick. I was hoping he would go moonsault for the pin just like he did to Kevin Nash. Here we go. Another backbreaker from the king. An X-Pac with a boot to the face. Or a kick to the face. However you want to call it. 
You gonna go up now? No, not gonna do it, huh? Well, he throws him into the corner. Now he goes to the top. And he hits him with the moonsault. Will this be all? Wow. So the bigger man got taken down by that move, but the smaller man didn't. Oh well, the smaller man will be taken down by the lion tamer. Now tap out, you son of a bitch. This is what you get for hitting Y2J with a truck or being an accomplice in that crime because you really didn't do much of anything. Just like in that match. Well, Vince's plan of injecting the WWE with a lethal dose of poison has failed. And now look at him. Look at this sorry SOB laying on his stomach and Jericho with a paint can. What the hell is he going to write on his back? Y2J? He better. He's shaking it up. That don't look like a Y. What, what you writing, man? He wrote NWO and crossed it out because apparently that's cool or something. Well, I'm on board for it. The NWO sucks and let that be a lesson to anyone who thinks they don't.